okay? So some of you have worked with me with kettlebells before, so you know how to do a get up. It's the beginning of a get up, but for safety wise, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna lie on your side. I'm gonna put my whole hand through in the middle and then I'm gonna grip with all of my fingers. The other hand comes on top. I pull it into my chest and then I push up with both sides, okay? Or both hands. My right arm goes out to the side, left leg, uh, right leg goes out to the side. The initiation of the movement is from my hip. It's not a sit up, okay? So I'm driving my heel into the ground or my foot into the ground. My knee stays pretty much up towards the ceiling, doesn't it? It doesn't collapse in, okay? So I'm using my glute to get over there. And then I'm gonna bring this arm here and I'm gonna push off. And then I'm gonna bring this leg over. Okay, so I'm gonna lock down my shoulder like this. And this is the screwdriver, okay? So I'm just gonna internally and externally rotate my shoulder. Ooh. Just like this. And it looks like nothing, but it's actually a lot of work for my rotator cuff and my shoulder, as well as my core, right? So if you've been doing those band exercises for a while and you need to up, you need to up the capacity and the strength and the endurance, this is a nice one. So that's the, that's the screwdriver. And then you can also do little circles here, just like this. Okay. You can do five to 10 in each direction, keeping that elbow straight. Okay, I meant to tell you, I meant to show you the full arm bar. Full arm bar, this leg straightens, and I try to keep my arm vertical to the ground as I bring my hips and my chest towards the ground. So this is a huge bicep and pec stretch also, while still working on all the shoulder stabilizers. So the way I get out of it is I just reverse the way I got in, okay? Just like that. Some of you guys will be doing it with a pretty light weight and you'll be tempted to just pull it over and just throw it down. But safety wise, it's just always better, um, if especially if you have a vulnerable shoulder, to just pull it into your chest and roll to your back. Make sense? Okay, you guys ready to try it? 